Before this crisis, hazard pay was this kind of little known additional type of bonus that you could get, um, usually reserved for military workers or miners who have deemed, you know, dangerous jobs. In early March, we started seeing an uptick in cases, and that's when the panic buying really started. Shelves started laying bare, they needed to be restocked, and as that happened, America's food workers were deemed essential. They have been advocating for additional pay, better safety, more hand sanitizer on these jobs. I take great pride in, in being someone who's has a label as an essential worker and um, taking pride in myself that I'm helping feeding America right now. But if you tell the people that I work with that they are essential workers, they don't believe that. Workers are frightened right now. And I think you're seeing a lot of the strikes happening because of that. I believe I started around about 2002. And um, I have done basically every job that Wayne Form offers. We're very shorthanded right now, and we don't have a, a, a lot of manpower right now, but they have uh, given us an extra dollar. And if you ask me, it was disrespectful to offer me one dollar for me coming to work, being an essential worker, when I hear other people around the area that is called essential workers, and they company has taken care of them. I work at a chicken company and do not have chicken in my own freezer. These production lines move really fast. It's usually up like 120 birds a minute. Um, and, and just think about how close you have to be on these lines. Usually they're literally elbow to elbow, cutting chicken, sawing off heads, separating breasts. Um, and this is serious stuff. When you're that close together, things can spread. They only offered us one book and they put it on uh, an attendance. So what they're saying to the people is that if you come to work all week long, we will give you an extra dollar. So the people need every dime that they can scrap together right now. So if somebody may be feeling sick, they're going to try to come just to get that extra book when it's not even really worth it. I mean, how can you give a person four quarters and say that we're trying to show you some gratitude? That's not gratitude to me. It was being disrespectful. That's how I felt. The food industry is actually America's biggest employer with more than 20 million workers. There's around 3 million farm workers, 2 million poultry workers, so many restaurant workers and I'm hopeful that going forward as we get out of this crisis that the work that's been done to raise awareness about how workers are treated and what these conditions are like will be considered moving forward and it shouldn't be something that is glossed over. These unseen workers are crucial to our food system and that's during a crisis and that's also not during a crisis.